नमस्ते बच्चों वेलकम बैक इन दिस ऑनलाइन क्लास इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द कंडीशंस ऑफ कंडीशन सी लेट अस हैव अ क्विक रिव्यू कंडीशन नंबर वन इज देयर मस्ट बी अ कपेसिबल सब्सटेंस देयर मस्ट बी अ कंटिन्यूअस सप्लाई ऑफ ऑक्सीजन और एयर The temperature should be above the ignition temperature of the combustible material. These are the three conditions which are required for combustion. Without this condition, combustion take not, take, uh, cannot take place. If any one of the condition is missing, uh, con combustion cannot take place. Okay, so these three are very very important. Conditions for combustion. While uh, burning any substance, we should uh, keep in mind that this condition must be fulfilled. Then only combustion takes place. See, uh, uh, before going to the next topic, uh, let us have this. Uh, what is given here that. Uh, in uh, do you know sun produces a lot of energy an enormous amount of energy and the 98% of sun's mass is made up of hydrogen at an extremely high temperature hydrogen combined to form helium and this produces this process produces a lot of energy and that energy is very very high amount thus uh, just for the intensity what amount of energy is produced you can just imagine that it is 10 to the power 20 times more than 10 to the power 20 times that is beyond our counting system okay 10 to the power 20 times more than the energy produced by burning of 1000 kg of coal so it is a very huge amount of energy that is produced by every one hour on sun and that's why uh, we all get energy from sun not only the planet of earth but all planets other planets of our system get energy from sun okay now uh, the next phase will go for the type of combustion we will talk about the different type of combustion next uh, there are four uh, our type of combustion there are four type of combustion that is slow combustion a rapid combustion a spontaneous combustion and uh, explosive combustion there are four type of combustion slow combustion rapid as spontaneous and explosive we'll discuss them one by one slow combustion is uh, clear by its uh, just name when a combustible material burn at a slow or moderate rate its combustion is called slow combustion when a combustible material burns at a slow rate or moderate rate its combustion is called slow combustion now you see how or why any substance burn at slow rate or at moderate rate see uh, for this Uh, there must be a reason behind it. Why a substance burns slowly or moderately? 
if uh, there is insufficient supply of air if there is insufficient supply of air then uh, the combustion will be at slower rate okay for example burning of cow dung cake or wood are other examples of the combustion uh, that is slow combustion means if uh, we burn a cow dung cake or wooden block piece of wood uh, it there will be a slow combustion because here the oxygen supply or air supply is not proper now you can say how how it is possible if uh, uh, there is wooden block burn the outer part of wooden block only is in contact of air the inner part of wooden block is not in contact of air so the combustion will not take place properly it will take time it will take time means uh, the whole part similarly for the cow dung cake the outer part that is in contact of air that only get the proper amount of oxygen or air so combustion will be slower okay so here because uh, the side supply of oxygen is not proper so combustion is at slower rate <clears throat> rapid combustion when a combustible substance burn at fast rate it is called rapid combustion dekhi uh, previously uh, we have discussed about slow combustion that it is due to the insufficient supply of air and here rapid combustion is due to the sufficient supply of air means when air or oxygen is supplied in sufficient amount then combustion will take place will be rapid combustion okay see how it is possible in gaseous fuel as as uh, soon as the whole fuel come out of the container means as soon as the fuel come out from the container for combustion the whole amount get in contact with air or oxygen listen me carefully as soon as the gaseous fuel come out of the container wherever it is kept it come in contact with air all part of fuel come in contact with air because it is in gaseous form okay as it is in gaseous form so diffusion will take place easily gas to gas gas to air so the whole fuel will be in contact with the air or oxygen at a time so the combustion will be faster that is due to the proper supply of air combustion will be faster so uh, this is uh, called rapid combustion and it takes place in gaseous fuel okay uh, then we'll uh, talk about spontaneous combustion see uh, when a combustible substance catches fire on its own even at room temperature see uh, uh, there are so many substances which ignition temperature is very low means that is equal to room temperature or less than room temperature so they catches fire when they are in open in a room also or in outside so when a combustible substance catches fire on its own even at room temperature then it is called a spontaneous combustion at even on its own it means we have not supply 
any ancient temperature to it. It is burning itself. Okay, because it reaches the it reaches the ancient temperature. Okay. For example, white phosphorus. It burns at room temperature. A piece of sodium metal, a piece of potassium metal. Their temperature of ignition is very low, that is a less than room temperature. So when they come in contact with air, they starts burning automatically. It is called a spontaneous combustion. <clears throat> One more type is there, that is explosive combustion. When a mixture of a combustible material and air burns completely in a very short span of time, in a closed space, an explosive combustion can take place. See, a mixture of combustible material and air burns completely in a very short span of time it will be called explosive combustion means the whole fuel whatever fuel is kept in a container that whole fuel burns at a time and in a very short time within a second then it will be called explosive combustion and it it causes a lot of energy it produces a sound of explosion okay for example, crackers, uh, busting of bombs, they are the example of explosive combustion because the fuel kept in those uh, uh, containers are in compact position, they burn all of a sudden and in a very short span of time. See, uh, uh, as we have studied about the rapid combustion, that is the gaseous fuel, if a gaseous fuel burn uh, in a proper way, means uh, uh, not all fuel burn at a time. When we regulate it, when we want it burns, then it will be a rapid combustion. But, and suppose a, gaseous, a gas cylinder is there in your home. If it burns properly in a controlled way, it will be rapid combustion. But if it burns all of a sudden, the whole gas will burn uh, at a time. Within a second, it will be called explosion. It will be called explosive combustion. So uh, there are four types of combustion. Slow combustion, rapid combustion, spontaneous combustion, Explosive combustion, slow combustion will take place in insufficient supply of air. Rapid combustion will take place in sufficient supply of air. A spontaneous combustion will take place at uh, by its own, even at room temperature. And explosive combustion uh, will take place when a fuel will burn all of a sudden in a very short span of time. So there are four types of combustion. Uh, one uh, C one point is also given here. Do you know substances which have a low ignition temperature and hence catch fire easily with a flame are called inflammable substances? See those substances which burn at low temperature, at low ignition temperature and burn with flame are called inflammable substances. You see, uh, there are several uh, tankers which uh, you used to see on the roads which carry LPG, petrol, diesel. It is uh, very boldly marked over there. Inflammable substances keep away from fire. So, this shows what? The material what is being carried over is inflammable, means it will catch fire easily and it will burn with a flame. So we should keep uh, heat away from that those tankers. Okay. So uh, that is all about this uh, class. In next class, 
I will discuss about the next topic that is the fire control. Okay. Thank you.